Hey, Storyboard, what's up? It's the Culture Detective here investigating your favorite albums. And today I'm going to do a very quick and brief album review on the latest Sprain album, As Lost Through Collision. So again, um, I didn't know about this band all that well. I only came across this album when I browsed through RateYourMusic.com a couple weeks ago and it sort of piqued my interest because it's post-hardcore and slowcore, a genre that I'm not necessarily all that familiar with even though I've listened to music that's kind of similar before. So I went into this album with fresh ears hoping to find something interesting. And uh, I was actually kind of disappointed. Only a little bit. So Sprain is an LA-based slowcore post-hardcore band, and this is actually their debut album. The entire album is about 45 minutes long, but it only has five tracks, and that's when you know that they're not some cheap conventional band. They're actually pretty serious and experimental about their stuff. Um, however, uh, what my problem for the album is that there isn't much in terms of versatility. Now, of course, I'm not really expecting all that much from a band that just debuted, but even so, for all five of the tracks on the entire album, the chord progression is pretty similar, the tempo and the rhythm of the five tracks are pretty similar, and while the song structures are, are kind of different, the production is kind of similar and not in a good way as well. For some reason, the vocals are mixed very, very, very quietly. It's almost like they didn't even use a microphone. It's it's some tw early twin fantasy production stuff, except this actually sounds better than early twin fantasy because the guitars and the drums are really sharp. They're really upfront and obvious but at the same time if they have the ability to make the guitars and the drums sound so clear then why can't they make the vocals sound clearer the vocals are completely buried underneath and again it's not like i'm expecting the vocals to be leading the helm of the album or anything but still they're so quiet it's almost like they're completely insignificant also, another problem I have with this album is that it's just not that special. Uh, it tries to be a little gimmicky when it repeats its notes over and over and over again like Swans does, but what Swans does is these notes, they progress more and more and build tension and suspense, but what Sprain does is just repetition and also drone. And they're not necessarily all that good at making drone music in that a lot of the guitar layers just sound kind of regular. Uh, so we have the album opener Slant. And uh, it's funny because this track actually sounds like a slint track off of Spiderland. Uh, with the warm and cold and slow guitars, which I actually kind of like. I also really like the frantic guitar slashes in the beginning. It's all very hectic and anxious, and I kind of enjoy that. However, the track just doesn't progress much from there, and while it's already one of the better tracks on the album, it's actually not all that great. The second track is My Way Out and it's nine minutes long and it's an extremely quiet and slow track. And I have nothing against a quiet and slow track, but when it's this uninteresting and this boring, it's, it's really hard for me to enjoy anything out of this track. There's barely anything on this track. This is... This track is barely existent. This track barely exists. There are these whispery vocals that, that just hop, that kind of hops out occasionally. There are these guitars and they are just so minimal. There's just so much empty space on this track and it doesn't necessarily create an atmosphere or a mood or anything. And it just drags on. It just drags on. At the very end, it, it becomes more climactic and noisy. 
but it's already too late. At that point, I've already lost interest. However, we have the third track, Worship House, which is actually pretty damn good. It is the most sonically focused track on the entire album. We have dense, thick walls of guitars and an 8-8 rhythm, which is very hectic and anxious. And the whole track is very off-kiltered and migraine-inducing, and it also progresses quite a bit. It has ups and it has downs, and it is definitely a highlight on the album for me. Uh, anyways, we have the track Everything, featuring 15 minutes, and this track is, is anything but everything. Um, that being said though, um, this track is um, it's 15 minutes long. The first three minutes actually sound really, really good. It's a really simple, sad, downtrodden, post-hardcore rock song that sounds really nice. However, the next 12 minutes of the track just becomes a drone track, a straight up metal drone track. And while I find it interesting that they're incorporating drone music with their rock music, their drone music just fails to interest me at all because in order to make a good drone track you actually need interesting production choices and beautiful guitar chords and sort of slow transitions and this is exactly why Sun is such a good and popular drone band as far as drone bands go and what Sprain does is not one of the brightest I have to say. And the album ends off with Constant Hum, which is 10 minutes long, and it's a super duper slow rock song, but instead of uh, being as slow and as dragged as my way out, this one is a little bit more dynamic as it sounds more like instruments melting around your ears, which sounds actually quite interesting. However, given that the track is 10 minutes long, there is a point in the track where it begins to get boring and bland but still as far as slow songs go as far as slow core go this is one of the better ones i've heard so uh yeah uh while i think uh sprain has some good ideas some good sonic and musical ideas on the album i feel like all these ideas are not fully realized and I also think that a uh, bulk of the album just failed to interest me at all because there isn't anything all that special with the production or the uh, or the songwriting actually. And um, yeah, my favorite track here is Worship House. My least favorite is My Way Out. I'm giving Sprains as Lost Through Collision a strong four to a light five out of ten. So, if you listen to the latest Sprain record from Winter Denim, which you should rate it, like if you like it, and subscribe if you want more. And thanks for watching. I will be reviewing Little Tekka, Machine Gun Kelly, Deftone, Sufjan Stevens, Sefdaliza, and Clipping very, very soon.